What if I told you this AI called MPT-7B could read the entire Great Gatsby novel in 20 seconds and provide an epilogue? Well, this is reality, and there is something called open source large language models that is making this all possible, and it couldn't come at a worse time as writers everywhere are refusing to work. Large language models are changing the world, but they're hard to train and deploy unless you're a part of a well-funded research lab. This has led to the creation of many open source LLMs, like the Llama series from Meta. These open source LLMs offer the power to create game-changing AI to those who don't have a million dollar budget and tons of computing power. On this episode of AI Focus, we get into how these open source models are surpassing Google and even OpenAI, and stay till the end to see the story writer model that could mark the end of the need for human writers. A leaked memo from a Google employee spoke of a fear that big tech's advantage in the AI race is about to disappear quick. The memo reads, we've done a lot of looking over our shoulders at OpenAI, but the uncomfortable truth is, we aren't positioned to win this arms race and neither is OpenAI. I'm talking of course about open source. Plainly put, they're lapping us. It continued, while our models still hold a slight edge in terms of quality, the gap is closing astonishingly quickly. Companies like Google and Microsoft are capitalizing on the rise of AI and integrating tools into every aspect of their businesses. But this doesn't mean the tech will further cement their grasp on the industry. The leaked memo also states that Google and Microsoft have neglected the growing community of programmers and companies that rely on publicly available AI code, aka open source, to create smaller, more efficient projects. Meta's Llama open source model is one of the best examples of this. I think it may have been a master plan of Zuckerberg's. Maybe he intends to undermine the other big tech companies that have an advantage in AI by eventually giving the people the tools they need to create their own AI. Then he can finally sit on his throne in the metaverse, king of all tech companies. Not to mention, this LLM is currently restricted but was leaked on the message board 4chan so people are already tinkering and building their own customized projects with it. This landscape would mean that no one company has a monopoly over AI, leading to the democratization of it. This tech could benefit society on one hand, or lead to malicious use on the other. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And it was just announced today that OpenAI might be releasing an open source model of its own. It won't compete with its more sophisticated model, but that may not matter, as there's a new open source AI that could write a novel if it wanted to, but more on that later in the video. Meanwhile, a writer's strike in Hollywood still looms over pay disputes and ironically, the fear of AI. Could AI be writing your new favorite show soon? It's possible. The Writers Guild of America, the labor union representing writers, began the strike after failing to negotiate successfully with the alliance of motion picture and television producers that represent the US entertainment industry. Part of the contention lies in the WGA proposal to ban the industry from using AI like ChatGPT to write scripts and generate ideas for shows. The fear is that AI could be used to produce first drafts of shows, and then a small number of writers would work off of those scripts. The WGA also proposed that any scripts covered by the union's collective bargaining agreement cannot be used to train AI, and Hollywood said no to all of it. And that's nuts. They did propose holding an annual meeting to discuss technological advancements, however. That just seems like Hollywood will call a meeting every year just to say, hey, we're using this AI for these reasons in these ways. Okay, thanks for coming. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers issued a statement on the 4th of May saying, AI raises hard, important creative and legal questions for everyone. Historically, companies usually went out when it comes to technological advancements taking over human work. I mean, why wouldn't they? There are some exceptions, however, like in the 1960s when the dock worker union negotiated for employment security against downsizing. It may be hard to stop the eventual use of AI in films and TV, but if the WGA can find some sort of middle ground, this could ensure writers aren't left completely in the dust. Don't take my word for it, take hers. It's basically an algorithm. It's more complex than what I'm gonna describe, but basically you just feed it a lot of information, like if you, uh, like Waze, okay? You feed it all the maps, you feed it all the real-time traffic, and then you give it a task. Take me from spot A to spot B in the shortest amount of time, and it delivers that task based on all the material you've given it. The, the really um, 
kind of harsh reality of AI in the, in the entertainment business is it's trained on all of our past work. All of our scripts, our films, all these actors' performances, all of this. So it's a regurgitation. It's an amalgamation. You give it a task, and it spits out some new product that's based on all of our past work. So that the cop I, I hope the copyright office is involved in this already. You know, this is a massive infringement, like the size of which we've never seen before. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. But there's a new pen in town. If the writers don't come back soon, there may be tools ready to replace them, like the new story writer AI. Mosaic ML has introduced MPT7B, which is a transformer trained from scratch on 1 trillion tokens of text and code. It's open source and matches the quality of Llama 7B, Meta's lightweight but powerful large language model. This new development is unbelievable because MPT7B was trained on the Mosaic ML platform in just nine and a half days with zero human intervention at a cost of around just $200,000. Compare this to GPT-4, whose training cost around $200 million and took months to do so. It has become so easy to create these AI models and even easier for people to get their hands on them and create new things. And you can now train, fine tune and deploy your own MPT models from the bottom up. And in addition to the base model, Mosaic released three fine tuned models called Instruct, Chat and Story Writer, which can give extremely long context in its prompts up to 65,000 tokens. This is way more than GPT-4, but more on this later. This model is licensed for commercial use. Unlike Meta's Llama, which is restricted, it can handle extremely long inputs, up to 65,000 tokens, compared to the couple thousand of other LLMs, and it's optimized for fast training. Mosaic has tested the MPT against various benchmarks, and it's on par with the high-quality Llama 7B. The base model is a decoder-style transformer that matches the quality of Llama 7B and performs better than other 7B 20B models in academic tasks. Before we look at the story writer model, let's look at the MPT 7B chatbot. This model was fine-tuned using ShareGPT Vicuna, HC3, Alpaca, Helpful and Harmless, and Evol Instruct, making it well-equipped for any conversation or task. It aims to provide seamless, multi-turn interactions for users. Now for the MPT-7B Story Writer model. As you may or may not know, a token is the unit LLMs use to count words or letters. Most open source LLMs can only handle about a couple thousand tokens. But with Mosaic, you can fine tune the MPT-7B to handle context lengths of up to 65,000 tokens. This is absolutely insane. For context, GPT-4's context length is 4,000 with a variant that can get up to 32,000. The ability to do this comes from Alibi, one of the key elements in building MPT-7B. MPT-7B StoryWriter was fine-tuned on 65,000 token excerpts of fiction books using a next token prediction objective. And this is where it gets scary for writers. Trainers had StoryWriter read The Great Gatsby and generate an epilogue. It took on The Great Gatsby in 20 seconds, which had an input of 68,000 tokens. This is because Alibi allows for even longer inputs than what StoryWriter was trained on. What's stopping studios from feeding this AI a season of Breaking Bad? Mosaic says, we believe MPT, the Mosaic ML LLM Foundry, and the Mosaic ML platform are the best starting point for building custom LLMs for private, commercial, and community use. Whether you want to fine tune our checkpoints or train your own from scratch, we're at a crossroads right now. It's not just writers, almost every form of employment, from surgeons to fast food workers, have their job security at stake. What effect do you think this will have on the world? Do you think we're blowing this out of proportion? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click that video on the screen to see Wendy's new AI chatbot that will change fast food forever. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.